Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on this week's video. I'm using my wood glue to combine all my wood blocks together to create my desired design. I'm starting off by making things really simple by gluing just three wood blocks together. Then after that, things get a little tricky. So if you are going to recreate this, then I suggest you pay close attention to see exactly how I'm gluing the wood blocks together. I'm creating another set, but this one is going to be a little different. So I'm basically creating the same exact design as you all have just seen, but in the next clip, you guys will see what makes the difference. Instead of taking this one all the way to the top, I stopped at this point and I'm adding the extras to the sides. Although I had no issues with this glue in the past, but if you are a crafter, comment below which glue you like to use best for these wood blocks. This is the first piece along with the other two bigger sets. Once I glued my pieces together, I noticed there was some small gaps, but I'm just gonna fill in those gaps with more wood glue. But if you are going to recreate this, then I suggest using some wood filler. If you have not guessed yet, this is a butterfly and these four pieces will be used as the antennas. Some of the gaps are very noticeable and they are spaced out a little too far. That's why the glue didn't fully dry, but that's okay because it can be filled in with wood filler. And I'm using this Blossom White Satin Spray Paint as a base coat, which it's really not needed because the majority of my butterfly will be fully covered with how I am about to decorate it. Now I'm using this French lilac spray paint as the top coat. Now I'm going around the edges with this silver metallic spray paint and it's okay if some of this gets on the top. This is how my butterfly is looking and I just painted the back with my white acrylic paint. I'm creating a mixture which consists of this Mod Podge silver glitter and also the purple glitter and this mixture will give my butterfly a little more detail. If you are going to recreate this, this step is completely optional. I just wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to my butterfly. To decorate, I'm using two different size rectangular mirror tiles that I purchased from Amazon and I'm just gluing these only in the center. These are self-adhesive, but since I continuously reuse these, I need to add a little hot glue so they can stick better. I 
I found it better to add the hot glue directly to the wood block since it dries out faster when applying it to the mirror tiles. My butterfly is looking pretty good so far and I'm not even done yet. For this next step, I'm using these square mirror tiles on the wings and I purchased these from efavormart.com a while back. As I always say, if you are going to recreate any of my projects, please use a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. After I got done gluing all my mirror tiles down, I noticed that the wings didn't quite match up. The left inner wing is supposed to be on the outer part, but that's okay because I'm gonna still make it work. I'm decorating all the open spaces with these jewels that I purchased from Michaels a few years back. And just like that, this is how my beautiful butterfly turned out, which it can be used for a multitude of things such as table decor, wall decor, a door wreath, and you can also hang it from the wall. The possibilities are endless. Comment below what you think. On to project number two. I'm starting off by gluing three blocks together at a time. Now that all the pieces are glued together, now I'm just going to combine all four pieces. I made two pieces and now I'm going to make multiple pieces of these small square shapes. I made 16 individual pieces in total and now I'm going to glue them on top of one another in a stair-like pattern. I'm gluing four shapes together at a time so that way when I get ready to glue all of them together it will be easier for me. I'm making sure I can see directly straight through the shapes so that way I know it is aligned properly. So now I'm gluing one end to the other. I'm using the white spray paint as the base coat and then the silver as the top coat. I thought this candle holder looked beautiful as is and nothing needed to be added, but if you choose to recreate this, comment below and let me know what would you add. 